location in the entire world. There's one in Chicago, in New York, Tokyo, Shanghai, and Milan. And there's one here in Seattle. I don't know about you, I love coffee. Always loved coffee. I've been drinking it since I was 13 years old. Don't know if that's a good thing to say or not. We're gonna go check it out and see if it's worth the hype. This location is about nine blocks from the original Starbucks, which is down in Pike Lake Market. You walk in and the place is so expensive, 15,000 square feet, give or take. And I'm just in awe. There's coffee from all over the world and Starbucks branded drinkware and little like aprons and all kinds of really cool niche stuff for coffee lovers. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. There are quite literally everywhere here. We are looking at where they roast the beans and then from there they get shot up into like a little vacuum thing. They literally have coffee running through the pipes. Every pipe in here, coffee running through it. I like my bang. Let me tell you, it's excessive. This is why I'm looking at my phone, I'm looking at the menu. They have latte flights, they have espresso flights, they have cold brew float, which has a generous scoop of vanilla ice cream. Unfortunately, I can't have that, but it sounds delicious. And then they also have a bunch of different coffee creations, that's what they're calling them, and there are different lattes than you would find at your normal Starbucks, which is actually really cool. Whiskey barrel aged cold brew. Hazelnut Blanco Latte, Dark Chocolate Mocha, Cold Brew Malt, and Nitro Almond Milk Mocha. They also have spritzes. What is this? Anyways, I'm very excited. I think you may order an espresso flight. when I leave this place because that is a whole lot of coffee and I am a very small person. <laughs> Let's read about this, shall we? The Gravitas blend that I just took a sip of is described as big and complex with layers of richness. This is probably the strongest sip of espresso I have ever taken in my entire life, and I am 31 years old, so what does that say? Next up on this espresso flight is the blend from Guatemala. Ooh. It kind of feels like I'm traveling right now. I kind of love it. Described as bright and full-bodied. This is a lot lighter than the previous Gravitas blend. We're gonna try the Costa Rica blend next. It's decaf, so balance out the caffeine, I guess. Oh, this is described as sparkling acidity balanced by citrus and milk chocolate flavors. Definitely very acidic. You can kind of taste the chocolate a little bit, small hints here and there, but I'd say overall it's a bit more acidic than anything else. There's so much attention to detail in every piece of furniture, to decor, to lighting, and it's really cool. There's like this library of all the past labels of all of the uh, coffee that they've roasted here, and they never roast the same set of beans again. So. 
whoever it is in the world, I'd love your job to go out and explore all the different coffee regions of the world to then bring back coffee beans to roast here in Seattle and to then never do it again. I think it's just so unique and I love that Starbucks has done this. If you're at all, like remotely I'm talking, interested in coffee or wanting to learn about the process of roasting or just like a coffee fanatic like myself, I would totally recommend coming to check this place out. It's The staff are so knowledgeable and welcoming and we've asked so many questions and it's just an awesome place to be for a coffee lover like me. Thank mm -hmm. you.